Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Ghost Madden Zero Chill Part 3, Part 4, whatever you want to call it at this point. We have a bunch of content to go over, as you guys did see from the pre-release last night. A lot of you guys had some questions like how do you get Isaiah Simmons, how do you do the snowball fight stuff. I'm going to be going over all that in the video, so definitely stay tuned for that. going to be helping you guys out. So I got my Zero Chill Glacier uniforms that did just, I guess, activate for me. I don't know why it took so long. I, I thought they were part of Tier 5 through 10, so I, I really don't know if that, that was activated already. So I really don't know why I got that so late. But let's open this pack. Maybe we pull something. Of course, nothing. Total. So okay, I'm getting like all my rewards now from Tier 5 through 10. Now let's go check that out because I... I no joke, I was pretty positive that that was open already. Oh, okay, so never mind. I thought that I thought that this tier just opened, so no, tier 5 through 10 opens. So if you were ahead of that, you are getting all your stuff now. I do need another one, though, so I can get my beast food collectible. But, anyways, guys, let's go check out the new stuff. So first, we got the house rules, so we'll start there. But before we get into the video, guys, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, boys, boys, join the family. You guys need coins for all these drops. Heading over to my reserve down below. Take advantage of the 30% off using code Poodle for the holidays. Pick all these cards. You need Isaiah Simmons, guys. He's a must. Deion Sanders was a must. Calvin may be a must. Charles Woodson was a must. There's just so many good cards. And we still have Mahomes and possibly Bo and a few other things coming. So, you know the deal. Go use code Poodle for 30% off. Let's get to the house rules. So, snowball fight. Get chilly this winter. Get chilly with winter house rules. Score as many wins as possible in our snowball launcher. So, the way you win, you have to lead by 14 points. You get 8 points on 20-yard touchdowns. On top of it, you get plus 8 points on 20-yard touchdowns. You get op, uh, minus 1 for your opponent on first downs, minus 1 for your opponent on interceptions or fumbles. No special teams. All right. That's not bad. doesn't seem that hard. does seem like it could, be a, it, it could be a little bit of an issue at times. Like you're about to win, and then you get a turnover, and now you're down by 2, and then they score 20-yard touchdown. Now you're proven tied again. I, I could see I could see the frustration, but it's not gonna be bad, guys. Now definitely get this done because for your snowball launch you need 25 wins. Now these games aren't gonna take too long, I don't think, but you're gonna need 25 wins. And but you do get you get a total of 7,000 snow. Oh sorry, 9,000 snow and a snowball launcher, which does get you one of the free players. So definitely go ahead and get that snow done. And if you guys know the snowball launch collectible is for the team Garrett slash team Herbert, depending on which ones you guys pick. I will elaborate more on that later in this video. But let's move on, guys. So house rules is going to be over here in, uh, let's see, seasons. Come over here, and you're going to be able to see it pretty easily. Should be the first thing that pops up right after this. Okay, so snowball fire here. So you go ahead. You can see the rewards here. You do also get a decent amount of coins. And if you get up to 50 wins, which I don't think you will, most people will stop after the 25. But you do get a total of about, like, 30K, 37K in coins. So that's not that bad. You also do get a decent amount of trophies, but trophies are more on the useless side this year in comparison to other years, so do with that as you will. Let's go check out all the sets. Well, let's go check the store first, because I do want to elaborate on something in the store for you guys. You guys were asking. A lot of you guys were commenting this, so let's go check that out. Okay, so come over here to the store. See the 88 plus future special pack, or spectral pack? Well, first of all, that's the new bundle for the Ghost Man Futures. Now, this right here is going to be how you get Isaiah Simmons. From what I understand, you could not get Isaiah Simmons from... The sets, he's not part of the sets, and an LTD. He's kind of like an LTD, but not exactly. So the way you get him is doing the 88 plus. Um, zero Ghost of Madden Future players. That's the only way you can get it. So, it's not a bad idea. Like it, it's not, it's not a horrible value. But 10,000 stones a lot. That's pretty much a random player present. And this could take a while. I mean, yeah, you can pull some other stuff. That's good. You can maybe sell it, keep going, and re-rolling. But it's not exactly the most uh, safe proposition. Now you can. Go ahead if you want to try that. I think I'm just going to wait around and probably wait for him to get posted onto the block to see if I can get a good price for him. But again, do with that as you will. Now back to sets. We do have the Zero Chill. Four categories now. We have a lot of stuff here. So Zero Chill. This is the daily stuff. You know, we're used to this. Nothing new here. You got Ghost of Madden. This is a really cool um, set. Now that's Calvin really said. You're going to need two, one Juju. You're going to need, let's see, Jamal. Jamel Dean. You're going to need two Jamel Deans. You're going to need two DeAndre Swifts. Oh, four DeAndre Swifts. Sorry, four DeAndre Swifts, two Jamel Deans, and then one Juju uh, Schuster. So, so far the set costs us 100k. 
180k because you do need two of him. So we're at 180k, and then Swift is going to be 27k. So still at the 30k, and we'll subtract the end. So if it's 180, so it's going to be 300k to do this set. More like 280. 280 for this set's not bad, actually. Consider If my math's not wrong, right? 30k, 120 altogether. Minus the 3k, so like 115. Uh, 115 plus 40k. And then this was 120. Yeah, it's going to be like... It's going to be like 280, 300k. That's really not bad because you also get back all three of the players. So, if you feel like you can use any of these players, guys, this isn't a bad set because you get to keep Calvin Ridley or you can go ahead and sell Calvin Ridley back and you just get all these players for pretty cheap. Not a bad set at all. I, I Honestly, I think I think it's a good value because you usually pay like 600 and you end up losing like 150 to 200k. That's not bad. And then we got Snowball Fight, which is the new uh, implementation. Team Miles, Team Justin. Now, in terms of this, join Team Justin, score points for your team by putting Snowball collectibles into the set. First time you complete it, you earn an 80 overall, Justin Herbert. Then same thing over here from Miles Garrett. Now, I personally like Team Miles. I will get back to you guys shortly on the on what they're not, what the YouTubers are thinking. But I, I don't think I don't think Herbert as a quarterback is not going to be worth it. Because he's not completely threshold. He's a quarterback. So, you know, considering he's a quarterback, we all know that he's not going to be like long-term value. Miles Garrett actually will have some decent value. If he gets 93 overall, you'll be able to start him as a defensive tackle, as an end. I'm, I'm leaning towards Team Miles, so if you guys want to start doing that, well, first go get your first go get your snowball launcher and do all that stuff you got to do before anything. You're gonna have to go get that anyways. But I'm leaning towards Team Miles in this aspect. Uh, I think that'll be the better bet. As you guys did see the stats yesterday. Now let's go check the auction block. Let's see. But Isaiah Simmons didn't make his way up just yet. I have to get my chill factor up even more. So far, set. I'm loving all these free chill factor um packs and all the free stuff you're getting. There's just so much free opportunity this promo. Probably the, this got to be one of the best promos ever, and probably the best year chill ever at bare minimum. I mean, at least in my opinion, right? So let's go to Ghost of Madden Future. Let's go check out the uh, Calvin Ridley. Let's go check out the Isaiah Simmons. I see Calvin Ridley right there, actually. All right, so Calvin Ridley's 200k. That's not bad at all. Calvin Ridley, 94 speed, obviously. We saw his stats. I just want to see the behind the card. 93 speed. I mean, 93 agility. 93 excel. Uh, let's see. 87 stamina. 86 carry. 92 change of direction. 92 juke. Not bad. Not a bad card. And if he's powered up and chemmed up, you do get him to a 95 speed. So this is a really good receiver for 200k. Let me ask guys, you don't even really need Dion or any of those guys. Calvin Ridley is just as good in my opinion. He's right there and he's a fraction of the price. Um, you could do this set if you'd like, but I, I don't know. It depends, it depends if you can use those players. If you can use Juju, Jamal, da, Jamal Dean and all them, it's worth it. But if not, you can always snag Calvin Ridley for like 180k. Call it a receiver, right? Like you're going to have a good receiver. Like, guys, he's all threshold. He's all threshold and 95 speed. You really can't go wrong Calvin Ridley. Combine him up with Tyree Kill and Deion Sanders, and you got a, you got a squad in half. Now, Isaiah Simmons is going to cost a bit more regardless. He's going to cost a bit more. So, the thing is with Isaiah Simmons, he's going to take a while. You have to wait in the block because he is getting – you do get him from reroll, so it can take a while for him to get up and, uh, you know, up and stuff. Remember, Isaiah Simmons is going to be a god. He's going to be a god, so make sure you're taking advantage. Now, by the way, I did just get confirmation, guys. We are going Team Herbert. Uh, as much as I like Miles Garrett more, we're going Team Herbert because he does get Gunslinger. So, from what I heard, that's the move. Now here, can you still go Miles Garrett, right? Let's say you don't want to go Justin Herbert. You don't feel like you're going to use him. You can still go Miles Garrett. He's still going to be 92 overall. But the plus one, which gets him to a 93, is only on the winning team. And I know Zerk and a few other guys are going Herbert. They have enough influence. It's probably going to end up being Herbert. So, if you want that, if you want that guaranteed 93, more than likely Herbert's your guy. Now, if you do want to go ahead and actually guarantee the fact that you will get a 93 overall, Herbert, like I said, and, or if you do just want to go ahead and get a guy that you know you can start, you know he's going to be good for you, then you go get, you go ahead and get Miles Garrett. I probably should have just picked this card up for 196, right? Considering 94 overall receiver, super cheap. I'm seeing if I can snag one real quick. Uh, I think this is a really good receiver, honestly. I really like this Calvin Ridley card. I'm about to pick this up for 210, right? Is that the move? Gotta be the move. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 204, I'll take my 204. I doubt it'll get much cheaper. I don't really see it. So I'm gonna pick up a 204. All right, guys, that's about it for the video. So remember, important. If you want the guarantee 93 overall, you go on Herbert. If you just want a 92 overall that you can start on your team, like for me specifically, I might still go Miles Garrett. I recommend Herbert for all the budget teams that really just, you know, you guys want, you guys want a card like and through overall, you want the card that the community's going with. It's Herbert. But again, like I said, for me personally, Miles Garrett is the end. He's the one you can put defensive tackle. He's going to be all threshold. But Justin Herbert does get Gunslinger, so it is what it is there. But 
That is pretty much wrap to the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on that noti bell, guys. A lot of coins are needed today. Make sure you head over to my reserve and pick up coins. You're gonna need them. I'm gonna need them. Damn, I need Isaiah Simmons, but guys, about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.